Mm, so let's talk Rillaboom. Hey, everyone, what's going on? We are live talking about this right now, but this is also going to be a recording. So if, if you're watching the recording, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, everyone in the chat, say hi to the YouTube video. You are going to be in the YouTube video. It's kind of hard to see the, the chat right now, but it works. Rillaboom. Rillaboom, I think, is going to be quiet. It's going to have the grassy surge ability. Uh, definitely drum drum beating boom burst are givens. It's going to have its signature grass type move and boom burst fits into the drum trope. The two coverage moves that I really think we're going to see are knockoff and acrobatics. Um, and then we could see wood hammer as a shield break move or a turn zero move. Uh, I also think we see noble roar, which is a lot like tearful look that Inteleon had. And I think we're going to see maybe grassy terrain. Uh, for some of these mons, you want grassy terrain up. For some of these mons, actually for a lot of these mons that have like the ground type weakness, you kind of want grassy terrain up for a lot of these mons that I've picked. But I also think we're going to see growth because growth boosts the attack and the special attack. So if Rillaboom is using the boom burst, it is a special attacking move. It's 140. It's very powerful. But Rillaboom's special attack isn't all that great. So I think it is going to have a way to boost both at the same time. And I think it's done through growth. So I took the mons from my previous video. Hysun, Zorark, Go-Goat, Holucha, uh, Blaze, Tauros, Claude Sire, Hysun, Gudra, Iron Hands, and Annihilate. And I ran them through this sheet where I just take these moves and I run them through the calcs with the sets that I have. I did make some changes and I do have some, some advice for using any of these mods. So the moves we want to look out for is drum beating, knockoff, slam, uproar, wood hammer, boom burst, acrobatics, bulldoze, snarl, low sweep, brick break, stomping tantrum, hyper voice, earthquake, terror blast, focus blast, arm hammer, Trailblaze and Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb and trail and Drum Beating are the same thing, but Drum Beating is better because it lowers speed. So I just wanted it on there because Rillaboom actually doesn't have a lot of, like a wide variety of grass moves. A lot of them just get eliminated by stronger grass moves, like as it evolves, like obviously. But when it comes to its final evolution, like grass moves available, you just have Drum Beating, Wood Hammer, and maybe Trailblaze. So... Once again, I do think we're going to see drum beating, boom burst, knockoff, and acrobatics. So those are the ones that I really kept an eye out for when running the calcs. And we'll start with Hyzuian Zorark. Hyzuian Zorark here is really frail. I ended up changing the spread. Originally, I only had uh, 144 into physical defense. But the thing is, with the ghost typing, you're not going to be hit by the boom burst anyway. So there's really not that much of a reason to prep into the special defense. So I moved it all into physical defense. And even at 252 HP, 252 defense, um, I didn't do bold. I looked at bold and it doesn't do much of a difference. You're still taking 46 to 50, like 55%. Almost, it's going to be a three hit KO with no grassy like grassy terrain so with the grassy terrain boost drum beating is going to do a lot knockoff is easily a two shot wood hammer is easily a two shot even without grassy terrain it's easily a two shot acrobatics uh will be a three hit ko maybe a four hit ko after grassy terrain recovery after shell bell recovery and then Seed Bomb does the same damage as Drum Beating. So looking at it, Hazun Zorar can't really take hits to set up. And when you look at the damage here, let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, let's zoom in a little. When we look at the damage here with Hyper Voice uh, doing like turn zero, very little damage. And this is like a normal percentage health Rillaboom you're not really getting much out of it without the setup. So honestly, I think if you're going to go special attackers, 
just get a bunch of Hisuian Gudras. Uh, but we'll talk about that in, in a minute. I actually think this is going to be the one where like physical attackers aren't going to be that bad because the physical attackers can actually do a lot of damage and, and rack up and stay defensive. So the next one we want to look at is Go-Goat. The reason why I looked at Go-Goat is because its ability Grass Pelt, when Grassy Terrain is on the field, its physical defense doubles. So looking at this, really the only move you have to worry about is Terror Blast and Slam with no Grassy Terrain. And we have Grassy Terrain as one of the moves, so you don't have to really worry about that. And then Acrobatics. Acrobatics is going to be a two-shot, uh, e like maybe, maybe a three-shot. But without the Grassy Terrain up, it's easily a two-shot. But here's the thing. We have Bulk Up. So bulk up is going to be a way to increase the defenses. Grass Pelt doubles the defenses, so each boost is going to do more and more. Uh, with each bulk up, this percentage gets smaller. I do want to say you might want to go Leftovers or Shell Bell. Even though you have the Horn Leech here, you want to make sure that you're getting recovery in between those bulk ups. You could go bulk up Leech horn leech bulk up horn leech but you want to bulk up first before like wanting to deal your damage i think grass or fighting terra is going to be really good either way you're going to take acrobatic super effective unless you choose to go for a defensive typing but you're not going to get a damage boost so horn leech is pretty strong it is stronger than brick break at plus two and this plus two, as, you, as you'll see on all of the mons, is without Terra. So this is the damage without Terra plus two. This is the damage if you were like Terra turned zero, right? So, and as you can see, it's doing more besides like Focus Blast, which isn't even stab on Hyzeon Sword Arc, and it's 70%. Go Goat at plus two is doing more, way more than... Hisuian Sora Arc is at plus two. And that's a lot. That's saying a lot, counting on the fact that like Rillaboom is not very specially bulky. It's got 70 uh, special defense, which is why like in VGC, you usually run it with an assault vest. And then it has like 90 defense. So even though you're hitting the, the stronger uh, defense, you're still doing more damage. Next up is Halucha. And Halucha, you can use the Unburden. The only bad thing I would have to say about Unburden is that if you get knocked out, when you come back in, you won't be able to reactivate Unburden. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Halucha is pretty fast anyway, but we have a spread here with Adamant, max HP, 164 attack, uh, 92 special defense. And the reason why we don't have anything built into the physical event defense is that Halucha takes... Uh, a lot of Rillaboom's moves really well, really, really well. Not to mention that if you are staying on the field, you're going to have a plus one from the Grassy Seed just being activated. So if we look here, really the only move you have to worry about is Acrobatics. And I, it was so confusing with the, with the stat calculator. I don't know if this is with the plus one or without the plus one. It's just... Holucha is weak to flying type moves. Other than that, it takes everything really well. Like nothing, like there's a few things here that can foreshot it without any recovery, but you have Roost. My only suggestion with the Holucha is kind of the same thing I said with the Go Goat. Uh, go bulk up over Sword Stance to. Because continuously getting that defensive boost is really going to benefit Holucha here. Because you could also tack on body press. I don't think that's really that great. Uh, for flying press at a plus two attack is going to do more than body press at a plus two defense. So flying press is just the better move overall. And flying press is going to do good damage without the setup that you need for like body press. Acrobatics is going to be really good. It's solid damage. You don't get a Terra boost on it. Uh, 
and I didn't calc it at plus two for some reason. But I think Fighting Terra is going to be the, the go-to here with a lot of these mons. Hey, Shinobu, what's up? Let me catch up with chat real quick. Uh, no, not too many people here. I, 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 I want more people. I'm, I'm, I appreciate everyone being here. Um, Paldean Tauros. Uh, I honestly think you could go Blaze Breed. You could go just the regular fighting. The only reason why I went with fighting is, uh, with the Blaze Breed is because of that fire typing, letting you take a little more from the grass type moves. The one thing you have to worry about here with Tauros, it's pretty bulky. Acrobatics is once again going to come close to being a two-shot. Uh, Boom Burst is going to come close to being a four-shot maybe. But you have the Shell Bell with Tauros, and you need the Shell Bell, Shell Bell because Tauros doesn't have any kind of its own recovery, like Holuja or Go Goat, for example. Uh, but you also have the Bulk Up. Once again, I think Bulk Up is going to be really good here because Rillaboom is going to want to hit hard. So the bulk up is going to help get its defenses up while getting its attack up as well. Once again, I think here you go Terra Fighting. And at plus two Terra Fighting, Terra Blast is going to do more than a plus two defense body press. So you could just keep clicking body press at plus two until you get your Terra and then Terra Blast is going to be a lot better. Uh, Raging Bolt does an okay amount of damage, but overall, once you Terra, Terra Blast is going to be better than Body Press unless you, well, if you're clicking Bulk Up and you get to plus six defense, you're plus six attack. So once again, like Terra Blast is going to be better than Body Press here, which is weird because like being a VGC player, like Body Press can be so like oppressive at times. The Intimidate is good here because it lowers Rillaboom's attack, which will help all your teammates with acrobatics uh, because a lot of these mons need a way to deal with acrobatics. Next up is Clodsire. Now, for once, I don't really recommend Clodsire. Clodsire takes neutral damage from the grass attacks here. Uh, so if we look at it, it is a easy three shot on drum beating. It is a easy two shot getting hit with a wood hammer. It is an easy three shot. You do have, you do have recover. You do have leftovers, but do you really want to waste your time clicking recover? Uh, stomping tantrum is an easy three shot earthquake without grassy terrain up is an easy three shot uh, like on clot sire and then seed bomb once again does the same as drum beating now you do lower its attack with chilling water and you do have the acid spray uh and the recovery here but here's the thing <laughs> if you look at gudra the moves that on gudra we have acid spray chilling water flash cannon and life do it is literally just a bulkier clot sire that in with Sap Sipper, and in, in this situation, we have Sap Sipper. You don't take any of the grass type moves. So all these moves that are hitting Claude Sire for really strong, you are not taking them at all with Gudra. Now I will say, you can see this orange here. All of the fighting in the ground type moves hit Hisui and Gudra really hard. So my one recommendation after running these calcs is just run just run regular Gudra. So don't run Hisuian Gudra, run regular Gudra instead. You can run the same spread. Uh, I would switch out Flash Cannon and do something other than Terra Steel. You can probably get away with the Terra Water because of the Sap Sipper ability. You just have to watch out to make sure that like there's gonna be a turn where Rillaboom will turn off abilities. So that's something you might wanna watch out for. Maybe go with the Terra Poison instead or just the Terra Dragon. And then switch out Flash Cannon for something else that will do damage with regular Gudra. If we look here, like Chilling Water is going to do, you know, minimal damage. Acid Spray is going to do minimal damage. But as I've said before, Gudra and Clodsire, especially these Acid Spray Chilling Water sets, 
they're not made to deal damage. They're there to bring down the stats of the Terramon to let the other teammates knock it out. Um, let's catch up with the chat chat. I got fighting. I, yeah, I think, I think the fighting is going to be the best, uh, bulk up annihilate bulk up annihilate could be good. I do think iron hands might be a little better. New hikers look like Jesus and two more hours of work. You can make it Shinobu. Why have the last two seven star raids? I can't. I mean, you probably could, but like the thing with Gudra, the thing that makes Gudra good in these raids is to bring down its special defense, keep its attack low. Like that's what you're mainly going to be doing with Gudra. And you're setting up opportunities for the other mons, the other special attacking mons to do well. If you're bringing in Gudra and you're, and you're clicking acid spray and you're the only one taking advantage of the acid spray, click chilling water instead. At least that keeps your teammates healthier for longer. But if you have other special attackers, which I can't really think of any good ones. If, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But the Gudras are just there to lower special defense and keep the attack low. Don't, don't let the Rillaboom get out of hand. So yeah, because, because of this, like I'm sure we could find, if we really looked at, it, we could find a special attacker that would do well next to Gudra. But it looks like physical attackers are just going to be better off damage wise. Next up, we got Iron Hands. I did change the Iron Hands uh, calcs a little bit. What did I go from? Did I change it? Oh, in my original video, I just had like max special defense, max attack, and like four defense or something like that. You want, if you're doing the belly drum citrus berry, you want the four in HP. That way at level 100, your HP is 450. So when you use belly drum and you cut your, your health by 50%, the citrus berry gets activated automatically. If you don't, if you go an odd number and you click belly drum, you have to wait until you get hit again for citrus berry to activate, which can be really bad in, in a lot of situations. But Iron Hands here is really good. As you can see at the calcs, the only thing that would come close to three or four shotting it is the wood hammer. And I don't think it's going to be using wood hammer a lot. Uh, so everything else is in that 30 to 20%. So in a lot of cases, even though like Iron Hands is probably going to be slower, you're going to be able to get a belly drum off, take a hit, activate the berry, and then hopefully take another hit before you get a drain punch off. So if we look at some of the stats here, drain punch will always do a full amount of a regular Rillaboom. So you're going to get good recovery off of it. Once you Terra, it's even better. And if you have the belly drum off, you're doing like 400%, three to 400%. I totally goofed up. And I remembered that on the last one, I did like the actual like HP numbers uh, for the damage, uh, like against the Terramon. This time I just did the percentages. Uh, Thunder Punch is pretty solid here too. And so the reason I have Swords Dance is because once your Citrus Berry is gone, uh, once Rillaboom wipes the stats, it's going to be hard to find an opportunity to click that Belly Drum again. So Swords Dance is that way to get that attack boost back without putting your health and like your, you in a range where you can get knocked out. So you Belly Drum, keep doing damage until... Rillaboom wipes the stats and then Swords Dance to rebuff here. Other than that, like, you really don't need anything other than Drain Punch. 
Um, and then the last one is Annihilate. So Annihilate, did I make changes on Annihilate? I didn't. Oh, excuse me. So Annihilate here, I think you can go Terror Fighting, Terror Ghost. I think with Annihilate, Terror Ghost is the best because you're not going to have to worry about the normal type moves at all or the fighting type moves. Being the ghost type here, you have a, a lot of immunities, kind of like a Hyzerian Zoroark, but you actually do take the damage pretty well. Um, drum beating here could be a two shot in grassy terrain. Woodhammer is definitely a two shot in grassy terrain. Acrobatics is easily a two shot. So th th these these ones right here, like when you look at Iron Hands, you have one orange. When you look at Annihilate, you have two reds. So reds is in close enough is 50 or more for me. And then orange is anything that is in a three shot range. Granted, you will have the citrus berry, so you will get recovery here. You do have the drain punch, so you will get recovery here. You do have the bulk up, so you're th you're thickening up your defense. So if you play it right and you have something like a Tauros or a Screens, to nerf Rillaboom's damage output at the very beginning, you can easily set up this Annihilate to let it sit on the field. I'm just saying that if you don't have that support, uh, Rillaboom can do a lot of damage like right off the rip. Now, I did look at it um, with 252 defense, and I looked at those three moves here. Uh, drum, drum beating, wood hammer, acrobatics. At 252 defense, Woodhammer is still a two shot, like still has a chance to be a two shot. Drum beating is still a chance for a three shot, uh, four shot with Citrus Berry. And Acrobatics still is like that, just barely becomes a three shot. So when I look at these, and that's a 252 defense, that's why I recommend Iron Hands before Annihilate. But with Annihilate here, uh, I put Fire Punch because in my video, I was just like, Rage Fist, you're going to be taking a lot of hits. And then I remembered that Rillaboom was Terra Normal. Uh, but Drain Punch at a plus two is doing a decent amount of damage. I wish I had the numbers here because these percentages mean nothing because Rillaboom's health is going to be somewhere like 25 to 30 times its normal amount. But you start out with really good damage with Drain Punch. With the Terra, it gets even better. And if you are at plus two, you're there. So if you have a team, if you have setup, Annihilate is fine. If you don't have setup, Iron Hands. Iron Hands is probably going to be your best chance to solo. Other than that, I don't think any of these other mons can probably solo. But that's, yeah, that's about it. Lucario. Hmm, I didn't think about Lucario. The thing is, Lucario has that steel typing. So, ground type attacks are still going to do a decent amount to it. Uh, fighting type attacks are going to kind of be neutral. We can take a look, though. Okay, Earthquake's not that bad. Bulldoze isn't that bad. What about Acro? Acro is like a close, like probably a three shot. And then what were the other moves we wanted to worry about? I think hammer arm is unrealistic to, but it's, it's definitely possible. Hammer arm could do a lot. I think Lucario is kind of in that same situation as Annihilate where if you have team partners that are going to support you through like Intimidate, through like Screens, through Chilling Water, I think Lucario is going to be fine. If you don't, like, that's that's when you have to worry. Hariyama.
Uh, the good thing about Hariyama here is that So at max HP, no defense investment, uh, acrobatics is still a, is easily a two shot. You can get it under a two shot if you go max HP, max defense. Yeah, I think I think Iron Hands is just going to be better overall. I think Iron Hands is going to have a cleaner setup. Hariyama, you will take less from things like Bulldoze and Stomping Tantrum and Earthquake. But here's the thing. Iron Hands takes them fine. And what really saves Iron Hands here is that it's electric typing makes it makes acrobatics neutral. And that's something that a lot of these uh, fighting types don't have. Yes, I do plan on doing a raid stream this time. Uh, the only reason why I didn't do Delphox is because we went to New York. And then after that, it was just kind of like the, the raids... This, the second week, like everyone's over them. I don't know if I recommend Zoroark. I don't think I do, but I don't like, I don't know what other special attackers uh, would be that, that good. Hey Pete, what's up? Uh, Go Goat is kind of like a mid ground here. I think Go Goat's really good because it takes advantage of the grassy terrain. I feel like Halucha is solid here. The only thing I'd say about Halucha is that you probably want to bulk up over Swords Dance. You get more attack out of the Swords Dance, but if you bulk up and you boost up the, and you keep the defenses up, that's less time you have to spend clicking uh, the Heal Cheer or Roost. Uh, I don't recommend. Claude Sire, this one. Chilling Water. Life Dew. And I ran the calcs. I just didn't put them in a paste. I didn't put them in the in the sheet, but like regular Gudra takes the like takes the hits a lot better. Hmm. Could honestly just go Dragon Pulse. It's 85 power. What's Flash Cannon? Flash Cannon is 80. All right, yeah. So you can do more damage with Dragon Pulse. So this and what? What did I have? I had leftovers. And yeah, so that's what you want to do. Uh, Annihilate would be fine. I think Lucario is kind of in the same situation as Annihilate. As long as you're running with a competent group, you're fine. If you're if you're dropping in with randoms, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, but I think I think Iron Hands is going to be the best mon. Well, hopefully, we will be that group with brain cells. Cinderace, so Cinderace is like really frail though. Let's see. Or at least Cinderace feels frail. Uh, it's just a little less frail than Annihilate. Actually, it doesn't have the base HP. So I would honestly say no. Because what are you doing? High jump kick? I jump kick where if you miss, you lose 50% of your health. Like you could do bulk up. And then like right off the rip, like these, these ground attacks are going to be doing a lot.
Yeah. So like say say they go acrobatics and you know bring you down 40% and then you miss high jump kick and you lose 50%, you've done no damage and you have 10% health left. Terra fighting, I think terra fighting is going to take the acrobatics even worse. Yeah, acrobatics would be an easy two shot. I mean, you could go the max defense, max HP, max defense. Uh, acrobatics is still a two shot, and I think it's going to have acrobatics. Powerball, high jump kick, uh, bulk up, and I would have to say Terror Blast. Like maybe, maybe click Pyro Ball. Why did, want a high jump kick. Yeah, I mean, high jump kick is doing a lot, but it, it's a big risk. Like, honestly, to me, it's not worth it. You'd be better off getting like ball cups up off and clicking Terror Blast. But there's also like, because Stomping Tantrum isn't weakened by Grassy Terrain. Yeah, you still have to go three turns. Three turns to go Terra Fighting where like Stomping, stomping Tantrum, our acrobatics can three shot you, potentially three shot you. Probably definitely four shot like after Grassy Terrain. But that's if you're clicking attacks to get the Terra first and not clicking bulk up. So I, I wouldn't recommend Cinderace. Can we upload the paste? We're going to copy this. I'll put it in the chat. For only one that wants to steal it. I do believe I have this linked into the description. I put this in the Discord yesterday. I don't know if anyone saw that. I put it in the Discord yesterday. Uh, that way, you guys can look at it. You guys can make your... like. All, all you have to do is take this and make and like duplicate it and just rename it the mon you want to use. And then you can run the calcs yourself with Nabasa City. I will put the, the paste right there. Yeah. So it was on the Discord. But final thoughts here. I think Zoroark is kind of iffy. The physical attackers, the Gogo, the Halucha, the, the Blaze Tauros, the Iron Hands, and the Annihilate, I think are really good. If someone else wants to run a special attacker, like Gudra is a good support special attacker. Other than that, you just have like the Chilling Water. You could run physical attacks on Gudra and just use the Chilling Water instead. But, I mean, we'll see how it is. If you guys enjoy this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what are you going to run against the Terra Normal Rillaboom. And if you guys want to join in on the stream, make sure that you subscribe so you'll get notified when it happens. Till next time, I'm Zach. We'll see everyone later.